Today is August 7th, 2023. I briefly looked at the log that I kept for the past couple years. And what I've noticed are very big numbers. Big numbers like minus 50%, minus 60%. Sure, sure, I would have days where I would have plus 100%. And then I saw on one of the columns that uh, my account was up to a significant amount, a uh, substantial amount, amount, and then it started to decline and decline. And I would add, and it would decline. What seems to be uh, different than then and now is that I am aware of the possibility. It is possible. It is possible that a trade can be wrong. That's the only way to put it, really, because uh, I never thought about really, <clears throat> I never really thought about losing in the past. I would lose and I would say, oh, I lost, oh, 50%, 60%, and I would put more back in and things like that. But before I placed the trade, I never thought, I never thought that I could possibly lose, right? So one of the, uh, the UK spread betting, uh, I, I, uh, it looks like he's the, uh, he's the founder or something. His name is Mark. He says, when I look back at the trades that I was making at the beginning, he said, boy, I was deadly. I mean, I was taking so much risk. That's what he said. He, he said, I was just deadly. Because essentially, there was really no risk control back then. And so I see that in my trading as well. Because somehow I was ingrained in my mind that every trade I will make. And then if I lost, I never learned from it. I never thought about what I could do on my next trade and make the adjustments and I just kept doing it and doing it and then I would get really uh, uh, emotional about it and I would make a video about you know I had like 80 uh, severe drawdowns kind of things right so when I look back on it I never really understood the possibility there is a real possibility every trade that I make could be a loser every trade that I make could be a loser it is possible and so the uh, the second part of that is sure and and, and it, it and what I've noticed about also on the FTM uh, uh, challenge is that it is an account that allows me to trade in and out, in and out, without uh, without PDT rules being enforced. Even though it's a 10K, 10K account, I could trade until until the account uh, essentially hits limit or whatever whatever happens to it. And usually, it hits the hits the loss limits, either the daily or or something. And so I would keep trading toward to the end of the day because there there was this there's this mental the mind is captured into doing something that 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 causes me to keep losing and losing it's it's like an avalanche effect so there are two things that i've noticed about myself and i and that remedy is understanding that there is a possibility there is a possibility there is a definite possibility that every trade that i make could possibly end up as being a loser and the other part is, trading is not just about one day. Trading is about consistency on a periodic basis, which is framed within a thing called a day. So if I were to make just one trade, then I would make that one trade and then have a stop loss and that would end it for that day. That it goes the same way with the FTML account as well. That's the way that I should be. I need to be consistently thinking. I need to be consistent in the way that I trade in order to make myself uh, avoid the 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 
tendencies to create this avalanche losses. And the other part is to reinforce the understanding and the reality of every trade has a possibility of a loss. The movie called uh, Oppenheimer, I haven't seen it yet. I'm sure it's on a like a like an IMAX theater with huge screens and you have this mushroom just growing on that IMAX that must be uh, incredible. It's like it's probably it's probably like the uh, a sunrise and a sunset at the same time. Must be must be incredible. So um, that yeah that that truly must be uh, incredible. So what I need to do is see that there is a possibility. There is a possibility that. And, and and one of the lines it says here, the general asks him, so is there a possibility that the whole world could be, earth could be scorched? He says, uh, there is a slight possibility. <laughs> there is a slight possibility. You, you can't eliminate everything, but there's a sm uh, slight possibility. A statistical probability that it possibly could happen. So when a trade is made, even though I am incredibly convicted in in my thesis and the way that I trade and ba based on the confluences that I have supporting the idea I need to be aware that there is a def definite uh, however small it is and however much it varies on a day-to-day -day basis that there is a possibility that is that is the the possibility that I could take 50% of my account and so in order to avoid losing 50% of my account, I need to create a stop loss that tells me, okay, if it reaches here, I'll try it again. There is another day. <laughs>